today I'm gonna be surviving 300 days in hardcore Minecraft. Okay, enough with the dramatic effects. I hope everybody's having an amazing day, and let's jump right into the video. So I'm getting awfully tired of standing out in the rain and farming creepers for hours. So I think the first order of business is going to be to set up a creeper farm. So to do this, I need to get some snowmen, so I need to go to a snow biome. Now, I want to be able to go to the nether roof a lot easier, so I made some blast protection armor, and I'm going to use this method that I saw online to try to break the bedrock and set a ladder up. So, let's go ahead and see how this goes. So, what I need to do is I need to come over here, I need to flip the lever, get under, and then spam place on the piston, and it should break it. I'm going to eat a gapple just to be safe. So, let's go ahead and activate this and try this out. Okay, it's facing up. I think that means it worked. Bruh. Okay, well, I guess I didn't choose a very good area, so let's just forget about that for now and go get some snow. So we're going to head over here. There's a snow biome here, and we're just going to grab a bunch. It is nighttime, so we got to be a little bit careful, but I think it should be okay. Oh, 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 creeper. Okay. All right, so I think this is a good area to build it. I need to flatten the land out a bit, do some terraforming, and expand the land as well to have enough space because you need a decently big area. I have all the resources here in the shocker box, so let's go ahead and time lapse the build. Alright, so we have our AFK platform here, and we AFK'd for a little bit. So let's go ahead down and check how much we got. It should be a good amount because we were up there for quite a while. So here's a collection area. This side has three and a half stacks and in total we got five stacks. So that's pretty good. That'll get us a good amount of rockets to go to the end. Now I want to set up a sugarcane farm. So I need to do a bit of caving to get some redstone to build it. So let's head down here and try to find enough redstone to do the build. And, okay, so there are some axolotls here too, so I'm going to try to get some buckets and capture them. I've never got one before, and they seem like a pretty cool mob, so let's go ahead and grab them all. Alright, now we'll set up this little enclosure for them. There we go. And we'll go and make some name tags, and, hmm, I think a good name would be, let's go with Clarence. Yeah, that's a good name. And Jonathan, Samantha, and Roberto. Okay. So we got our name tags, we'll just go ahead and throw them on. Now one thing I promised myself about this world is I would not have any ugly farms. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate this a bit and make it look nice. All right, all right, we got our sugarcane farm built and we made the outside of the farm look a lot better. Now I'm gonna set water elevator going up to the AFK platform. It will save rockets and if I'm downstairs, it's a quick way to get up to the top. Now I have to say it is a pretty long journey up, but that's okay, but let's make our way over and we're gonna gather a bunch of resources to decorate the collection area of the farm. And okay. So this is what we have. We have a lot of storage down here. I'm going to put a bed in this little section over here just in case I need to sleep when I'm down here. And I have a bunch of barrels lined in the wall here. And then I have a lot of sections with chests. So overall there's a good amount of storage. And I think it looks pretty good down here even though it is a pretty basic design. So let's go ahead and make our way back. Okay, so we have a good amount of rockets, and I want to go raid some end cities now. I want to get at least a few more elytras. I am going to be doing some building in the end later, so I'm going to grab some leaves and head on over to try to find a few elytras. So let's head on in. Now I'm going to grab some ender pearls because it makes it a lot easier in terms of killing the shockers because I want to get a lot of shocker shells. So let's head on over and farm some end cities.
I got three new elytras on that, so that is pretty good. Now, the next goal I want to accomplish on this is I want to get the best gear in the game. Now, in order to get the best gear in the game, I need XP. So I'm going to head over to the end and start setting up an Enderman farm. Now, one thing, I do not want to risk any chance of falling into the void. So I'm going to be setting up little safety barriers around everything. And I'm going to be building out of obsidian just as an extra precautionary measure. So I'm going to go ahead and build out here to where I'm going to set up the platform. And then I'm going to set up a bunch of leaves here over top to stop the Enderman from spawning on my platform. And then I need to go and farm a lot of obsidian. And I just have to say, this is probably the most fun thing to do in Minecraft. There is absolutely nothing more fun than mining obsidian. Alright, and I'm setting up this little system here to automatically drop the ender pearls to avoid lag. And I'm going to go ahead and set up the platform. And I've decided to name the endermite Sean. I just think, you know, the endermite kind of looks like a Sean. So I think it's a pretty good name for him. And there we go. So we got the farm completely set up. Now it's time to grab some XP and do some enchanting. The first thing I want to enchant is I want to enchant all the new elytras I have with Unbreaking and Mending. And now I need to get more obsidian because I want to finish building the path that I set up over to the Enderman farm. Now if I go to my stats, it looks like I've already mined 481 obsidian. So by the end of this, I'm probably going to mine a lot more. But like I said, it's the most fun activity. So let's just get to it. Okay, okay, okay. I've had enough. If I have to mine one more block of obsidian, I'm going to lose my mind from all the fun I'm having. So I'm going to make do with what I have and finish setting up this box for the path to the Enderman farm. Okay, now I'm going to just change the roof to be stone and I'm going to do water all along it. The reason I'm doing this, if I happen to one time forget my elytra and jump off, I can catch myself on the water as a way to save myself and not take void damage. And one more thing I want to do is it's very crammed in here, so I just want to go ahead and expand this. And there we go. I'd say it looks a lot better in here. I can actually breathe when I'm in here. And I have this little platform out here for landing and taking off with the elytra. And I'm going to finish setting the water buckets up and then finish doing my enchanting. And I have to say the finished product looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and get enchanted. Okay, we got all of our enchantments done. We have a good smite sword, a good sharpness sword, a good bow, good tools, and four elytras enchanted. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to set up a wool factory. So I'm going to break the one that we have and start laying out a base for a new one. Now I want to have all the buildings on the island connected. I don't really want to have a ton of separate buildings on the island. So this is the base of the barn and I'm going to build this up with the two connected. Then I'm going to connect it to the main building. So that's the plan. So let's just go ahead and get building. Okay, I have to say, I'm really happy with the finished product. I think everything turned out looking really good. Right here in front of us, we have what's going to be the horse stables. Now, I obviously need to get horses for it, but that's besides the point. Right now, I'm going to put some hay bales down inside of here. And then I'm going to go ahead and trap a bunch of sheep. And down here, I'm setting up the rail system with the hopper minecart to be collecting all of the wool. And we'll just get all the sheep trapped. And there we go. Now I'm going to set up a water elevator so I can jump up and down to the collection area for the wool at ease. And that works pretty good. Now over here I have a water elevator that takes me to the upstairs. Then I can jump right back down if I want to. 
I think that's a pretty cool addition. And one final thing that I want to do is I want to connect the villager trading hall because it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. I want all the buildings connected, so I'm going to kind of have to find some way to mesh these together. And after we're done meshing these buildings together, we're going to be going to find an ancient city to try to get the swift sneak enchantment. So be sure to stick around for that because it is going to be by far the riskiest thing we have done on this world so far. I'm really nervous of dying, but I really think we can do it. So let's just go ahead and get building on this while the wool accumulates. And then we're going to head to try to raid an ancient city. base is done and we made some other additions walking through here i have what's going to be a courtyard and there's this little passageway here that can take me back to the front door so this goes inside and through here this is the passageway that connects to the villager trading hall and then there's another passageway here that loops all the way around to the wool factory and the upper level of it that there isn't anything built in yet And this all connects back around to the main area. And it seems like we've accumulated a decent bit of wool. I don't know if it's enough for an ancient city, but it is getting there. Okay, so this is the area that we have over here that connects to the village of Trader as well. But for now, I think it is time to go out and try to find an ancient city. So I have my wool, I have my rockets, and I'm going to start flying around. And at this point, I've searched for days. And days. And days. I just could not seem to find an ancient city. So I made my way back to base. Now, I know some people don't agree with the use of chunk base, but I am going to use chunk base because I need time to be able to edit my videos. And I just can't manage to spend another five hours flying around looking because I only have so many hours in the day. I also think that it doesn't diminish from the challenge of actually raiding the ancient city. So let's just go ahead and head over to an ancient city. So I have another portal set up here. It should be taking us out to a Badlands biome. And now we're going to make our way over to the location here. And got to start heading down. I'm pretty nervous. I'm not going to lie. This is really nerve wracking. Ancient cities really scare me. It's honestly the scariest thing in Minecraft in my opinion. But I'm going to just go ahead and start mining down. And is that? Yeah, that's it. Okay, we are at the ancient city. Just gonna have to take care of this skeleton and spider real quick, then we can try to find a way to get down. Okay, so I think the only way to really go is we're just gonna eat a gap when jump. I don't see any other way down, so here we go. Okay, so we are in the ancient city. Let's just go ahead and start covering up sensors and looking around for a swift sneak book. Alright, we got a bunch here, so let's just cover them up. Okay, everybody, so I've been running into an issue where my recording software keeps turning off. So I lost a lot of the footage here, and even in the next video that I am recording, I lost some footage. But I've now since solved the issue. But for this next part, what ends up happening is the warden gets summoned, so I panic and I start blocking up. And at this point, I kind of got caught in a place where the warden could still shoot me. But if I took time to dig, I would take too much damage, so I was kind of trapped. And I had to find some way to get out of this. It was a very scary situation. But anyways, here's what happened. Okay, okay, okay. I'll try to dodge it with the pearl. Alright. Okay, alright. Got, got to put a new totem on. I, I, I don't think you can... Maybe you can't hear me now. Okay. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Okay, we're not good. We're not good. We're not good. Okay, gapple, gapple. Okay, I just... Okay, okay. I gotta just try to dodge with the pearls. I can dodge a couple. Okay, okay, this is very stressful. I don't really know what to do. I've already burned through half my golden apples almost. I just need to try to dodge with the pearl to miss a hit so I have time to dig up more. Okay, here we go, here we go. 
Okay, that did not dodge. That did not dodge. Okay. Okay, just keep gappling. Just keep gappling. Okay, let's... Okay, ga we just gotta gapple again. We can try to dig out. Let's just keep trying to dig out. It's, it's the only choice we have at this point. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Are we good? I, I, I think we're good. I think we're good. Come on. Okay, okay. I think we're safe. Okay, that was extremely nerve-wracking. I, I was honestly getting really sad. I thought we were going to lose the world. I was getting really upset, but we are okay. We burned through like nine golden apples or something, but we are safe. That's what matters. The totem had ended up popping, but we only lost one totem, so that's okay. Let's just head up to the surface here. And I'm going to block up to mark my location so I can come back here, but I will tell you this much. I'm not coming back to Ancient Cities for a long time. That was that was just too nerve-wracking. I, I, I think I had a mini heart attack. My heart was pounding. But we're okay, so let's just go ahead and start flying back. Okay, so I'm going to chalk that up to a mission success. We got a swift sneak book, so that's going to make building a lot easier. Now, I did, in my time of exploring, get a lot of gold. So I can go ahead and grab that and mine it to replenish my golden apple supply. And that is all. We are currently at day 315. And I want to give a huge thank you to everybody for watching. It was a lot of fun making this video. I've enjoyed a lot of the things that we got to build in it. And I had a lot of fun going and raiding the ancient city. Now, in two weeks, I'm having a video coming out where I spend 100 days building a giant castle on this world. It's going to be absolutely insane. And next week, I have another Minecraft nostalgia video coming out. I'm going to be returning to the version of Minecraft where they added birch and spruce planks. In my childhood, that was a really fun version, so I'm going to be returning to that. So if you want to catch these videos, please consider subscribing. And thank you so much for watching, and as always, have an amazing day.